It is natural that after awakening, we tend to look less and less into metaphysics and we don't even have the interest in that aspect of the path that perhaps in the past was very uh, enticing, but after awakening, you realize that there is something better than being worried about how you are going to attract this or that. But as you progress in the embodiment process, it comes the time that you realize that metaphysics has its place, but uh, in not in the way that perhaps you were intending it before, but in a different way. And I'm going to try here to explain it, because you can use this principle to have a better life, not only externally, but also internally in your thoughts and feelings. Now, I'm aware that thoughts and feelings are external. I'm just going to use this distinction as it is used in metaphysics, which is your thoughts and feelings are internal and the external world is what comes to us through our senses. So I'm going to use that distinction, but keep in mind that after awakening, you have realized that there is only one thing that is internal and that is consciousness itself, the observing, the perception, the perceiving of the present moment, the consciousnessing of the present moment. So how this works? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you is a, a metaphysical assertion. What it means, if you translate it into Advaita, is seek ye first the nothingness and everything else will be added unto you. And what this means is that when there is the feeling of a spaciousness in the mind-body organism, when there is the emptiness, when there is this emptiness and absence of self, then the point of attraction of the mind-body system is very, very high. What means by that is that metaphysically, your environment tends to become friendly and harmonious. So that what you need and what transpires in the external environment is ideal, is, is, is the best that can be experienced according to this present moment in the collective karma of humanity, which is also impacting all of us, of course. So you optimize your point of attraction by removing the false idea of the self, the little self, the I, the me, and becoming empty inside. And from that emptiness, the rest is added unto you. What is being added unto you is not millions of dollars falling on your lap, it's just a friendly, harmonious environment around you that is ready to give you what you need easily and without drama, without much effort. Maybe some action will be necessary on your part or in the part of the mind-body system, but not that much. And uh, no strenuous efforts, that's what I mean. The result is that the external life becomes friendly to you. And that enhances your internal experience in thought and feeling, meaning that it's easier to sustain positive thoughts and positive feelings when things around you are okay, uh, harmonious. But at the same time, as harmonious thoughts and feelings arise, or simply the 
bliss of the emptiness, this attracts even more a friendlier and friendlier environment. So there is a spiral upward and that spiral upward helps you to get a higher and higher. The contrary is also true, meaning let's say you feel frustrated and then that frustration becomes obvious in your thoughts and feelings. At the same time, the external world becomes less friendlier. So you hit another frustrating experience and then uh, you feel more frustrated and that deeper frustration attracts further frustrating experiences until you say, what the hell is going on here, right? The universe is becoming an enemy to me. No, it's not that the universe is just trying to bring attention to your thoughts and feelings so that you realize that something is wrong and you need to run back home to the nothingness. In that nothingness, automatically, boom, your, your point of attraction is so high that things begin to gradually come back to normal and the environment becomes friendlier again, friendlier and friendlier. So there is a spiral down and there is a spiral upward. Make sure you ride the spiral upward because the spiral down is quite painful. After awakening, the, the capacity to attract becomes stronger. So it's, if, you, <laughs> if your mind-body organism is feeling really frustrated, it will attract more frustrating experiences and faster after awakening. In the same way, you have access to the nothingness, a faster and deeper access. From that point of attraction, you begin to attract a much better life around you. So make sure, you know, to use the upward spiral metaphysically, because it will support your efforts to live internally in peace.